In 1991, at the US Open, Agassi would debut the AirTech Challenge 4 in the Kiwi colorway. This is a sneaker that was also worn by tennis legend Jimmy Connors at the same time as Agassi. The Tech Challenge 4 also has a visible air bubble with a forefront air sole unit, a pylon midsole with the Challenge Court Fireball logo on the tongue. They also came in both low and mid, with each having slightly different designs on the toe box. This Tech 4 can be considered a grail for Agassi fans, collectors, and sneaker enthusiasts. It was retroed for the first time in 2000. You copping those? I'm copping those too. Yeah. I can picture you wearing some fluorescent windbreaker. Mm -hmm. Like one of the most. You gotta have the squish squish. Exactly. Yeah. The nose with some white socks. I don't do the hoochie daddy shorts or nothing like that. Oh. But I will wear some white shorts. Okay. You know, I, I can picture my dad, you know, he wears, he likes those shoes and he wears some hoochie daddy shorts with those. I'm here for the Hoochie Daddy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Hoochie Daddy. <laughs> oh, man. In 1992, Andre Agassi would wear the AirTag Challenge Hirachi at the U.S. Open. They have unique patterns on the heel with an array of vibrant color hits with a complex upper and an Air Max heel. Those are the shoes that definitely need to be retro in all colorways. Today. <laughs> I need right. them today. Right. The AirTech Challenge Future, in my opinion, is the worst of all his collection. The 1993 release will be a higher cut featuring an instep strap and a multicolored sock liner with Hirachi type cutouts on the ankles. These look like where the Diamond Turk 4 got its inspiration from as they look very similar. What it, you think they of those? do look very similar. Right. So you're not here for the cutouts? I am here for the cutouts, just not on those. Okay. Those are tall as hell. That's fair. Although there are a few more models, the last models we're gonna cover is the AirTech Challenge LWP. Nike's LWP, or Lightweight Performance, was a success for basketball shoes in the 90s. So of course Nike would apply the LWP technology to Agassi's 1995 release of the AirTech Challenge LWP, these are the shoes Agassi was rocking when he cut all of his hair off. This is also a sneaker Michael Jordan co-signed, as there are images of him hopping out of an old scoop with the Tech Challenge LWPs on. Mm -hmm. What you think mm -hmm. of those? I, I love them. I think for a performance shoe and crossover shoe, those were a great look. And then, what's your opinion on the mullet? <laughs> the mullet? Uh, I like his, you know, I like his style because he wasn't afraid to express himself. He didn't care what nobody think. He actually brought that whole vibrant color out. Everybody was looking like, what is what is this? But then they started getting used to it. It's like, okay, yeah. that's just him. I think he rocked it well. Yeah. And he had Cindy Crawford. Oh yeah. And Steffi Graf. He definitely was pulling. Yeah. So, mother or no mullet, he had the, he had the uh, eyes on him. Right. Agassi actually had other fire models too. Let's take a quick look at some. 